former Senator representing Kaduna Central, Shewu Sani, has urged Nigerians, particularly the Igbos, to give a former head of state, Yakubu Gowan, a chance at national healing. Sani tweeted the statement in response to the backlash Gowan received for admitting that a lot of injustice has been done to the Igbos. Gowan, while speaking at the public event organized by Igbo Leadership Development Foundation on Thursday, said, I believe that a lot of injustice has been done to the Igbos and a constitutional debate on restructuring must address all imbalances and restore hope and confidence. Nigeria is big enough for all of us and I believe that the Igbo, Middle Bet and the Yoruba are the true Nigerians because if you look round our borders, people came from abroad and are still coming but in the Igbo have always been there. Middle Bet people have always been there. Even Yoruba have always been there. However, social media users blamed the injustice on Gowan and asked him to apologize for his role in the Biafran war. Shehu Sani tweeted, General Yakubu Gowan led the war and five decades after he has been leading the campaign for peace, reconciliation and national unity. The nation should listen to his panacea for national healing and progress. Responding to Sani's tweet, a Twitter user, Tony AGK wrote, the very war criminal who oversaw the program on the South Easterners and refused to apologize is the very one leading the prayer for peace. No peace without justice. How can God answer of a man whose hands are bloodstained? God is a God of justice. Another Twitter user, Miche, tweeted, General Gowan has nothing to offer. He had every opportunity to make Nigeria heaven on earth failed and turned back to as God to do it for him. This is absolutely rubbish. I think in a nutshell, what uh, Shehu Sani is trying to say is that we all should embrace peace. Of course, that is the only way forward that we should embrace peace. But I just think uh, uh, what the Igbos have been asking of, I think, I think it just is a little, a small thing. Just apologize because everybody knows the role everyone plays at each time. Even those who are still playing the role, those who are still acting drama, those who think that oh, tomorrow, tomorrow will never come, those who think that today is just going to be like that forever, are still falling into the same trap. Instead of them to do the right thing, some of them are in their old ages, and yet they are not even doing the right thing. Those who even made some mistakes in the past, they were they, okay. People could say ah, maybe they were young, but that is not even an excuse in the first place. But unfortunately, those who are still old, older, those who are still at that, uh, you know, who have attained, you know, higher age in their life, yes, they are still falling into this uh, 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 mistakes and errors. Now, in my opinion, I just believe that uh, Gowan is using style. Maybe he, he cannot come out boldly to say, I'm sorry, but he's using style, you know, his style, he's, he's doing it stylishly to apologize because for somebody who has come to say, oh, this is the peace, okay, this is the way to go, peace is the real way to go. I think he's using style to, to apologize if they are not getting it, but the most important thing is just irrespective of the way he's coming about it, let him just apologize. I don't think... There's nothing that anybody can do because the mistake they did has been done already. So nothing can be on, or, uh, upturned unless people are going to be doing the right thing. Like I said, those who are still, who have the opportunity to do the right thing, they are not doing it. They are still falling into the same error. And at the end of the day, they will now come out and be saying, oh, we are sorry. But even most of them, even at their age now, with their age, they can't even do much. And the, rest, the worst part of it is that those who are leading us, go and check their ages. At the end of the day, they are not even still making any progress. What can we say they have learned? Some of them have heard they have been in, uh, in, the, in the place of position for God knows how long. Yet, they are not, they are not ready to do the right thing. At their old age, they are still doing some kind of thing that you is still baffling. Then how do you now expect this Nigeria to move forward? Those who, know, who are supposed to know better, they are not doing the right thing. They are still falling into the same error. So Gowan is using his time, in my opinion, to apologize, but he, must, he can do better. And like I said, all the uh, things done in the past cannot be, cannot be upturned, cannot be reversed back because those who have lost their lives cannot be brought back to life. Uh, and people can really still forgive him and, you know, and move on. But in the case of, uh, uh, okay, uh, one Nigeria and what have you, it now depends on individual if really people 
we would want to know that this call is is no is really genuine. But from time immemorial, people have been watching the things that have been going on in this country from stages to stages, and you could see that you could see that there's no genuity, there's no genuineness, there's no truthfulness in those who have been clamoring for one Nigeria. That is a true uh, 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 question that we need to ask ourselves. Those who are calling for one Nigeria. Would they? Will you say that they are really genuine about it, or those who are even calling for it? Do you think those who are at the at the top there are ready to go in the line of that one Nigeria? Because, like I say, some of them are still falling into that errors. They are still going doing the same thing. They are playing tribal politics. They are playing tribal leadership, and it's not going to go anywhere. We are seeing it. What is happening now is not encouraging. That is what we are saying. One Nigeria is good, but what we are seeing now is not encouraging. And the question is that, since uh, Gowan said in his uh, uh, submission that, oh, Igbos are the real people, they are being on ground, uh, the Yorubas are the real one, uh, this and that, we have a lot of borders, people are just going from places to places, you know, coming into Nigeria. I think we know uh, the, the meaning of the statement is trying to make. But if that is the point, when you look at the whole thing, holistically you could see that we are not even related in one way or the other we are not just even having the same thing we are just trying to force ourselves when you force yourself you know um uh, to, to make friends with somebody you will never get along it's going to be quarry and quarry every now and then you begin to see the reason why this person is not even aligned with you because you are not you don't have a, 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 a common understanding. You don't have the same culture. You don't understand yourself in the first place. How do you want to speak? An Aosa person will speak. You want to expect an Igbo man to, to understand. An Igbo man will speak. You want an Urubu man to understand. How will they understand? A Yoruba man will now understand a Shekiri man or a jo You know, it's not going to happen. That's, that's why we're having problems. It shouldn't have been a problem before. But because, I don't know, the foundation, like I always say, is faulty. And people are not even ready to do the right thing. They will just come out on the pages of newspaper or oh, at public uh, uh, events. They will be saying all of these things, but behind, they do something different. That is where the problem is, because if really those who have been coming out every now and then have been coming out to say, oh, this is uh, the way we ought to go. This is the way things ought to be. Meanwhile, Sheh Usani himself knows that those who are leading us now are not even sincere. He knows what has been happening. Of course, everybody will want to be politically correct so that it won't be as if you are the one inciting uh, division or you are trying to encourage breakup. But the question is that if there's a re referendum, if there's need for people to go their separate ways, is it a crime? I don't know why people are really agitated or they are really uncomfortable with that. And that is what we are, the problem we are having. If we say, okay, let uh, Yahusas, let them be on their own. Let the other people, let them be on their own. Is it a crime in the first place? Because this one Nigeria we've been talking about, honestly speaking, every one of them knows that it has not favored anybody unless those who are in are the, are the corridor of power, those who are uh, uh, political, those uh, that are political elites, those, they are the ones, the politicians, they are the ones enjoying this one Nigeria and they will continue to, to crave for this one Nigeria, they will continue to preach this one Nigeria. And in the recent, they are not doing every everything to make sure to ensure that everybody is carried along, that the country is something that everyone will be proud of. We're not car saying carrying along, uh, give some people positions, give uh, appointed some uh, key positions to some uh, people. That's not what we are talking about. Let it be, you know, plain place for everybody to try, for everybody to succeed. We go to all of them. They go to Europe. They go to or US. They go to the UK. They see what is happening over there. They see the development that has been taking place over there. Yes, they cannot repl replicate the same thing back in our country. That is what we are talking about. Carrying everybody along. We are not saying give some people a position or give them money. That is not what we are talking about. And that is the kind of politics that is being played here. That an ordinary man on the streets cannot even boast of a three square mean. It's very, very unfortunate. And the more they continue to preach this one, Nigeria, is to the benefit of the politicians. Go to the north. You will see that the masses, they are suffering. Go to other, 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 other regions. Too. The masses are the ones suffering. But the politicians are not suffering because the, the reason why the majority of them are shouting is because they believe that, oh, give us position, give us this and this and that. Even when they talk about Igbo presidency, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even believe in that because... Is it going to change the narratives? Is it going to be a, a situation by let us just concentrate them or is it going to benefit everybody 
or they have something to bring to the table because those who have come who are leading now who are there at present what have they brought to the table those who have led before what have they brought to the table is it just to answer the name oh the presidency has finally gone to the Igbos is that what we are talking about it goes beyond that normally if people are doing the right thing if people are not being tribalistic and Agusaman being there for you know as the president he do, it's inconsequential in as much as doing everything possible that somebody who is from the Kogi, from Kogi State is you know having that confidence yes I'm, I'm proud to be a Nigerian. That is what we are talking about. And they don't want to get it. They don't want to do the right thing. They are playing uh, uh, ethnic uh, uh, politics. Politics of bitterness. Politics of our own. And it's not favoring anybody. It's unfortunate. People will say, oh, even if you like, pack all your family members to, the, to, to give them all the positions that they don't care about in as much you do the right thing. But now they still pack all their family members there. We are not seeing any results. So what are we talking about? Even if you do, you feel they, they, uh, they try to observe this uh, federal character. Even if you observe federal character and you don't put the right people there, it will amount to nothing. It will amount to nothing. This one Nigeria that everybody is just like, let us unite. Let us be united. All this why they've been talking about it. All this why we've been preaching about it. Why is it that it has not yielded uh, uh, the, the desired results? Why is it that we have not enjoyed the one Nigeria? All this why? That is a question people need to answer. But if you just continue to say, okay, people should just forget about it. They should just continue in suffering. And the things that will make one Nigeria to be acceptable by everybody, they are not going to do it. But people should not just talk about it. Okay, let them go. They are separate. But let us just talk about one Nigeria. Whether good or bad, it should just be there. One Nigeria should just be there. Even whether, whether people are suffering. No, 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 no. One Nigeria should just be there. No, no, it does not go, it's not going to work out that way now. It's not going to work out that way. If you do the right thing, nobody cares, for, cares about where you come from. Or who is leading or who is not leading. But in as much, those who are there are not even doing the right thing. Even when you observe federal character and people are not doing the right thing, then it amounts to nothing, just like I said. They, at least before now, those who have been observing that uh, or going about the federal character, the question is that, what have we gained? What have we gained? If you are doing one thing over and over again and you are not getting the desi desired result, you will change course. You must not continue with that. And that's where we are having problem. Someone says a round of applause for the senior advocates of the masses. Thank you, Shewu. You entertain political foes and keep them on toes to improve. And someone told you, told says, who told you they are looking for peace? It is because they see and know that Igbos are leaving them 50 years after the war. They never see or think of all these evils they committed against Igbos. It is too late to cry for a broken egg. Someone say, go and make peace among your people and Fulani first before the Igbos. And someone says, regret, regret, regret. After all, those who labored for are using your people for pepper soup. And at this point, you decide to insult the Igbos of being marginalized. We only fight a just cause and history has vindicated us about our brothers who snitched on us in the name of oil and were, and were later killed. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning what a Shewood Sani is trying to say. Like I said, you know, if you talk about one Nigeria, what of the people who are leading, are they even ready to do that? They've been talking about this one Nigeria. They've been on this one Nigeria for how many decades? What have we gained? What, what is the result at the end of the day? Nothing. It's still the same complaint, complaint, complaint. So if uh, we try to you know, diversify, they talk about di diversification. Let us diversify. Let every region be on their own. Let us see what will happen. Let's see what will happen. So guys, leave your comments below in the comment section and let's have your take based on what uh, Shewusani is trying to preach.